All right, can we go to Trey Lance? Is YouTube working? All right, we're going to have to skip around a little bit. So we'll come back to this Bengals um, film study if we have time, but let's skip to another film study that we can watch here. We're going to go 49ers at the Texans, and obviously we have to watch Trey Lance. Obviously, we're going to watch every single throw, all the plays by Trey Lance, and seeing is this guy the real deal? Should he truly replace Jimmy Garoppolo? Can this 49ers team, who is currently in the playoffs, can they keep the playoffs with Jimmy Garoppolo? Can they get deep into the playoffs or with Trey Lance, excuse me, not Jimmy Garoppolo and can they be Super Bowl contenders just based off of Trey Lance alone? Can they do that? So, we've got all the plays queued up here. Shout out to the YouTuber, G Sling, who curated all these plays because NFL.com is so trash. I mean, why would you not have a highlight package of every single Trey Lance throw on his first start? What is this? It's once again, what the hell is NFL.com doing? Trash website. All right, but we are done trashing NFL.com for the week. But here we go. Trey Lance, every single play. What is this man looking like? Is there buyability, bettability, believability in Trey Lance, the rookie quarterback for the 49ers? <gasps> Let's see what he's showing us. Here we go. First play up. He's just going to escape out of the pocket, roll out to the left, and pick up a couple of yards. It's third and 10 here. So, you know, would have really liked them to try and pass somewhere for this first down. He knows he's not going to be able to run it all the way for the first down. He just uh scoots out of bounds five yards picked up out of the 10 needed so all righty once again we don't have the all 22 because nfl.com is still trash folks so we can't see was there anything open here but trey lance not taking a shot on third and 10 that's something that we absolutely hate seeing take the chance get the ball to the sticks not uh underneath the sticks not try to use your utilize your legs to pick up all 10 yards when we know you're not going to be able to do that so, all righty, Trey Lance there. Uh, we don't really love that. But it's his first series, his first throw of the day so far. Unfortunately, nothing open. Here we go. Next drive on first and 10, Trey Lance. Nice escapability there. But just look at how wild this man was acting in the pocket, uh, taking his eyes from deep down the field to not deep down the field. And then last second, seeing somebody and then dinking it down for a yard. So, uh, I don't like how he's looking, navigating the pocket and all that. Third and one, they utilize Trey Lance. Fantastic. He picks it up. Here we go. Bootleg out to the right. I, I don't like how he's kind of throwing on the run here. That doesn't. He's, he did like a little hop on that throw, and it wasn't accurate. You see the running back out of the backfield, or the tight end. That's Juszczyk, who's great. I mean, Kyle Juszczyk is maybe the best player, the m best consistent player on this 49ers offense. And Trey Lance, a little skip here. You've got all this room. You don't need to be doing that. So Trey Lance skipping as he's throwing and it's a real duck youth check has to go all the way down to the ground it's a miracle he was able to reach all the way down low and stay on his feet to pick up three yards but Trey Lance settle it down a little bit go to your fundamentals stop hurrying everything so far we're only 28 seconds into the highlights I'm not impressed so far what else do we get here we go Tons of read option here, which is definitely what you could do with this 49ers offense now that you have Trey Lance at the helm, that he's dual threat and mobile. Uh, tries to deliver a hit right here, gets a little smacked. Third and two. Once again, a little bit of a quarterback keeper, and he's not beefy, and he's getting ragged around, folks. I truly don't know, and I know this is only... 39 seconds into this highlight tape, I truly don't know what Kyle Shanahan was seeing in Trey Lance to kind of uh, make it the story all off season of, hey, Trey Lance is going to be ready. Trey Lance is going to be ready. Trey Lance is the guy. It's not a matter of, uh, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And so far, he's hopping as he's throwing. He's not delivering a hit, but not going down and getting obliterated. He's not beefy at all. And the Texans defense is really not fooled by this man's running game so far. Now, they do end up winning the game, and this is only still the first quarter, so maybe it gets better. We still got a tape to watch, but so far, I've got some big old reservations on Trey Lance. Here we go. Second and nine, backed up at his own five-yard line, escaping out of the pocket. Kept his eyes down the field, and here he made a great throw on second and nine. Nothing open, buying all the time, escaping out of the pocket. Kept his eyes down the field right there. Picks up the first down. Uh, play action. Fires it deep. Gets it good, gets it good for 10 yards. 
at the 50 yard line here. Trey Lance gonna get taken down for a sack here. Rush just barrels right into him. He this defensive line just obliterated the offensive line and moved it right back into Trey Lance. And Trey Lance gets taken down for a sack on second and eleven. On third and nineteen after the sack, Trey Lance gearing up for a throw. Comes up about seven yards short of the first down. Unfortunate, so but it's third and nineteen. So we're not gonna weigh that too much on Trey Lance. All right, here we go. Trey Lance, play action. Plenty of time to throw. Comfortable in the pocket and throws a pick. See, we were gearing up for his best throw. Clean in the pocket. Look at this footwork. Great footwork. Cool feet, not kind of happy feet, not looking to kind of escape the pocket. Kept his eyes down the field and then made a bad throw for an interception. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Man, I am not liking at all what we've seen from Trey Lance so far. All right, here we go. He's got he's got a lot of work to do for us to kind of come around on him. Here we go. Trey Lance, play action. Look at how he's just maneuvering in the pocket as he's kind of getting drawn back because the pressure. He just I don't know his movement. He looks like a, a newborn deer or something learning how to walk. It just looks so um, choppy, unnatural, unfluid, a little unathletic, which is weird because we know Trey Lance is athletic. We just saw him run. He is a dual threat quarterback. But it's just not optically this dude. I don't, I don't like the optics of it. That's what it is. Um, and so far, the throws are pairing up with the optics because it's not looking great. But let's keep it up here. We got the full body of work to take. Last throw, maybe before halftime. 38 seconds left. Trying to do something right before the half. Try to get some points. Uh, unfortunately, backed up a little bit. Now 27 seconds. Trey Lance rolling out to the right. Kept his eyes down the field. And on accurate pass. Way behind this receiver. And this receiver is decently open right there. Uh, seemed to be maybe tipped by the defender. Let's break this one down one more time. Last second. May have been tipped by the defender there to kind of change the trajectory of the throw. Second and 10, Trey Lance over the middle of the field. There we go. Gets it to the receiver. Past the first down. Past field goal range. And 14 seconds left. They're still relying on Trey Lance with no timeouts here. Gearing up big. And oh, a nice 50-50 ball here. This is pretty good. This is a nice shot here by Trey Lance. Threw it where only the receiver could go up and get it. Receiver stuck a hand out. Almost made a nice OBJ reach back catch. So for that, that's a nice green mark for Trey Lance. Giving your receivers an opportunity. And then here we go. Seven seconds left. Still trusting Trey Lance to make the right decision. Not take a sack. Not dump the ball in the middle of the field of play because they got no timeout. So let's see. Does this pay off well Trey Lance seven seconds left at the 35 yard line and is that a catch oh my god they ruled this a catch and they do get three points off of it watch this throw this seemed like it was going to be a pick for a second gets lost in the sun by the defender maybe tipped and then number 11 is that Debo Samuel able to catch the ball on the sideline wow but overall, that first half, no real great throws by Trey Lance. We don't love his movement in the pocket. And uh, his accuracy is not short up at all. That's our first half notes for three points. Let's see if he can change it around a little bit. Here we go. After the adjustments have been made, after you know the offensive coordinator was telling him, hey, you got to correct this and this, this is going to be open because we see what the defense of the Texans have been doing in the first half. So making those adjustments, what can Trey Lance do now? Here we go. Second half of play here. Trey Lance, a nice rocket in there. This is a tight-ass throw over the middle of the field. Didn't do a, a, a deep-ass drop back, and he just slung it in there. That's a great throw on stride. Fantastic. Number 11, 10. Takes it all the way down to the 35-yard line once again. And that's um, Brandon Ayuk, excuse me, number 11, not Debo Samuel. Brandon Ayuk takes it because it was in stride because of the accuracy of Trey Lance. So, all righty, building it here. Let's see if he can keep getting better. Play action, going over the middle of the field. And this one was tipped by the linebackers right before it really could get even close to where the receiver was. So, all righty, batted down. Trey Lance designed 
quarterback draw here. Picks up about six yards on third and four. Another quarterback keeper right up the middle. Only gets about four yards. Bridge brings up fourth and one now. Here we go. Play action pass. Trey Lance rolling out to the left. Throwing left in almost an interception right there. So once again, Trey Lance, I don't know. I don't know if... Kyle Shanahan wants Trey Lance because he wanted to run this kind of hybrid um, play action, read option, quarterback running offense, but Trey Lance does not look good running the football. He does not look like Kyler Murray, Patrick Mahomes, even Josh Allen, who's really not your prototypical dual threat, but has got some great legs on him. I mean, Ryan Tannehill even looks way better, way more comfortable, efficient running the football than we've seen from Trey Lance. This looks like new newborn calf out here learning to walk. This does not look good. Man, oh man. Here we go. Trey Lance gearing up deep. Goes deep and it's double covered. He They get pass interference off of it. So bail out here. I don't necessarily agree with the pass interference. Don't love the pass interference at all. Man, oh man, that's a bad call. And once again, you know, the Texans got a little beefed in this game because of this call. Brings them all the way down to like the 15-yard line. Trey Lance airing it out. Not a good throw at all. We'll count the yards just to kind of get a nice read on his arm size. He, we'll say he launches this one from the 30-yard line. Gets it all the way down to the 20. So we got about 50. Got to shave off maybe about 3 yards. So we'll count it like 45 officially. Um, so, man oh man, man oh man, uh, I'm not loving at all, I have not seen one great thing where I go, wow, wow, the one wow was, hey, he threw up a 50-50 ball at the end of half, alright, that was good, it was good, but that was it, <laughs> what else do we get, third and four, in the red zone, Trey Lance, here we go, steps up in the pocket, but then just dinks it down, alright, anybody can dink down, a nice little floater on a dink, Wide open, picks up the four, four yards for the first down. Trey, Trey Lance still in the red zone here, and this is just a bootleg. I mean, he sells to play action, but nobody else is selling to play action either. So, um, And then Trey Lance delivers a wide open pass to a wider open receiver who goes in wide open, untouched into the end zone for the final seven yards. So that's Trey Lance's touchdown drive. Bail out pass interference, third and four, dink and dunk wide open, and then bootleg touchdown wide open open. I mean, we'll give them a little credit. I don't want to, you know, this, I'm, I'm, I'm not knocking folks. We don't knock players like this, but we're not impressed by this. This is not a Super Bowl contending team with Trey Lance. This is not even a playoff contending team with Trey Lance. Here we go. Trey Lance on second and eight. Nice sling over the middle of the field, and this one should have been caught. Uh, this was dropped. Did not seem like it was on Trey Lance, though. That was not behind. That seemed to be good. Just dropped there by the receiver, which brings up third and eight. Can he convert this? Third and eight, rolling out to the right here, keeping his eyes down the field, takes off and runs with it, and goes out of bounds about a yard short. Solid speed at a uh, for a quarterback, but overall nothing better. He's not the best. He's not Kyler Murray level of kind of speed. Same thing with Lamar Jackson. Maybe a little bit faster than Patrick Mahomes, but that's it. And it's just, if, if it is faster than Patrick Mahomes, it's like a, a, a slight all right, here we go. Bootleg off the right side. They're up 10 to 7 in the fourth quarter, and then he goes deep. And once again, this wide receiver, this is an underthrown ball, and the receiver comes back to it. And the defense by the Texans is trash. And we know this Texans defense, they give up the big ball. That's the one kryptonite overall on this Texans team. Offensively, defensively, they give up the big ball. And this was a big ball here. Trey Lance gearing up for this throw, folks. Okay, he's gearing up. You see him work his way. He kind of shuffles into this throw. He wants to go deep. And this is what he does, throwing it from the 50. And it gets all the way down to the 10, like 40 yards. Like that ball is falling extra um um, exponentially right there. Like, this is not a big arm quarterback. Not a big arm. Doesn't look good just running the ball. I don't know what people are seeing in this dude, folks. I, I from, the, from the jump, we've never seen anything in Trey Lance. Going back to watching this man in college. In Division II football. The man's not even in, you know, the FBS, folks. All right, here we go. George Kittle making it an extraordinary catch. Third and 12. Trey Lance going over the middle of the field. It's a pretty solid throw, uh, but it's George Kittle making a nice one-handed grab right there. All righty, they're up 17-7. to 
Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Great catch by George Kittle. What else do we get trying to ice out this game? Once, once again, just look at this catch by George Kittle. One-handed. Fantastic. All right. Trey Lance, you got another throw for us here? Any other highlights here by Trey Lance in the red zone from the three-yard line? Direct snap, quarterback, keeper, and he runs it in. So, yeah, Trey Lance in the red zone. Oh, but it's holding, coming back. Trey Lance in the red zone works good because there's a lot of options. Trey Lance trying to throw the wide receiver screen, and it's way incomplete, way inaccurate. Third and three, Trey Lance tries to run up the middle and comes up a yard short. So Trey Lance did not look good at all to me, folks. And honestly, this 49ers team uh, with Trey Lance, and it seems like they're going to rock with Trey. Uh, are they rocking with Trey Lance? I don't even know. Is Jimmy Garoppolo good to go? They need to get Jimmy Garoppolo back out there. I take Jimmy Garoppolo all day every Every day of what we've seen from Trey Lance. So if they're rocking with Trey Lance, this 49ers team, folks, they're playoff pretenders with Trey Lance. And that's who we've seen so uh, who, who we've seen latest. So that's where we're gonna put the 49ers. Playoff pretenders as long as they're rocking with Trey Lance. No, I don't see it. I don't see it at all on that man. At all.